So, another video about a Twitter alternative. But this time it's for Democrats. And that makes it so much better, guys. It's it's so much better when Twitter, but worse, is for Democrats this time and not Republicans. I mean, we've already got, you know, Gab, Getter, Parler, Truth Social, and like so many fucking others for Republicans, right? But now we have uh, an up-and-comer, a grassroots blah blah, with like all this, <laughs> all this support from all these totally unique grassroots people. You know, you just I can feel the grassroots bringing up my eyebrows. <gasps> or are they raising because it's bullshit? Um. So basically, uh, there, there's this uh, tweet here from Omar Rivero, and we'll get to him relatively shortly. But I figured I would start with this tweet because it's very funny. Trumpers and Elon Muskers are sending me hundreds of racist threats today because I'm a Mexican immigrant who created Truth Social and a new pro-democracy pro Twitter alternative that got 55,000 new users today because Musk is buying Twitter. If you have my back, please RT and, and join Tribal. Okay. If you have my back and are looking for a Twitter alternative that is pro-democracy and successfully combines against, it combats against racism, bigotry, and sexism. Yeah. Separate items in your list. Racism, sexism, and oh, also bigotry. Because those other two weren't that. Um, please RT and download Tribal Social's new app. And follow me on Tribal. Let's teach Elon Musk a big lesson. 55,000 new users is nada. It's nothing. And, and just to, you know, tell you why it's nada and nothing, well, um, probably because <laughs> um, Twitter has millions of Twitter users in every country. Y United States has 77 million users in 2022. Japan has 58.9, so basically 59 million. India, 20, 20, like, let's say 4 million. Brazil, 19 million. Indonesia, 18 million. United Kingdom, 18 million more. Turkey, 16 million. And, of course, Saudi Arabia, 14 million. Mexico, where this guy's immigrated from, has 14, has, has 14 million of their own. Like, 13.9 million, I'll just call it 14. And, and if we could just keep scrolling down this list see all these other countries, and these are just the top countries. How many of these countries do you think give a fuck that you don't have Republicans on your app? Worse, how many of these countries have Democrats approved regime change and wars in? You know? Worse. Oh, oh, Elon Musk, he's so scary. He's such a big old baddie bad guy, and I'm so awful afraid of him. It's just making me clutch my arms. I don't like Elon Musk. I think he's a piece of shit for a variety of reasons. Um, I'm still writing a big-ass fucking article on him. But let's be real here and say, hey, if you really care about billionaires specifically right-wing billionaires funding social media platforms? Why are you just piping up now, huh? Why are you just piping up now and not when, hey, that Saudi Arabia I mentioned and their Prince Awalid bin Talal Al Saud was the majority shareholder for a really fucking long time there, hmm? 
Hmm. Or or when the Sovereign Wealth Fund bought five billion dollars worth of weapons from Biden recently, or when the Sovereign Wealth uh, Wealth Fund was donating to Facebook and Boeing and Uber and a bunch of other fucking shit. Why are you only speaking up now that it's this billionaire? Well, maybe because you don't actually give a shit about billionaires or right-wingers owning jack shit, and you're a stupid piece of shit grifter. Omar. But, you know, I I would be. I would be pretty petty if I just left it there, right? So I won't leave it there. Instead... I'll bring back up my uh, my handy dandy little sources here, and go over a thread that somebody else posted. Uh, it's a very good thread. I'll be retweeting it shortly. But basically, Travis um, Acres here, he says that uh, if you're thinking of signing up for Tribal Social, I'll warn you now: don't. You're opening yourself up to a significant cybersecurity issues and data harvesting by a social media network operated by two people with known deceitful fundraising activities and unethical practices. It's owned and operated by Omar and Rafael Rivero. In September 2022, they raised 800000 for an election fund and donated none of the money to federal candidates but donated 250000 of the fund to Blue Deal LLC, a company allegedly women-owned, but actually owned by Rafael Rivero. Ooh, that sounds like money laundering to me. I, I don't know why. I, I ain't that smart, but it uh, sounds like money laundering. Poo, I, I hope it's not money laundering, though. If it was money laundering, that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> This is the kind of shady shit you see on fucking Jake Tran. So, let's be real here and say that these some shady motherfuckers. And they did one of these irrevocable, fully paid blah blah licenses where it's like, you know, in exchange for use of this website, you hereby grant to Tribal an unlimited, perpetual, irrevocable, fully paid, transferable, assignable, sublicensable, worldwide license to use, reproduce, modify, publish, edit, translate, distribute, commercially exploit, repurpose, perform, and display any and all posted information, including personal information. Survey answers and any questionnaire provided and all other kinds of information you post to the website. Submit to tribal or post through the website, alone or as part of other works in any form, media or technology, whether now known or hereafter developed, and to sublicense such rights through multiple tiers of sublicenses in connection with tribal performing the services described herein. You accept third-party retailers could be contacting you to offer post promotions related to their activities finally you irrevocably waive and cause to be waived against tribal and its users any claims or assertions of moral rights or attribution with respect to your posted information tribal shall be entitled to display advertising and or any other content at locations of its choosing within the website and blah blah that's that's pretty standard but either way travis continues besides the rivero brothers being troublesome enough and the terms of services that allow them to alter and profit from user content from a national security and cybersecurity perspective, tribal social is exploitable and extremely dangerous. Not a risk worth taking. Avoid it. <laughs> it's already getting there, isn't it? In addressing concerns about the terms of service for tribal social, the owner blames the lawyer. Imagine authorizing full access to your contacts, phone, and communications to someone who doesn't even know what their lawyer placed on their website. Hello, that that section's been removed. We have no idea why the lawyer would put that in there. (laughs) Whoops. We didn't read our own terms of service before becoming contracted parties with thousands of people. (laughs) Sign up for our site. Trust us. We won't fuck you over. (laughs) 
Oh, shit. It's moments like these. It's moments like these. And so, when you, when you scroll down, you see that these got all the fucking receipts. You posted these links. You said a little bit more on the unethical owners of Tribal Social. Deceitful and questionable fundraising. He defends his lack of donations to candidates. He is like, well, we, we made a pack and we gave ourselves a shit ton of cash. But we're fucking fine, though, really. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> he and his brother are fucking moving money around between each other like nobody's going to notice the three-card Monty of hundreds of thousands of dollars just poof! Oh, man. Woo! And so, on Monday, wildlife photographer Hamish Mitchell posted several photos on Twitter of Occupy Democrats' campaign finances over several cycles, where he pointed out the combative meme-making social media titans spent the lion's share of the fundraising, about 577000 of a total 797000 Raise this cycle on fundraising consultants with no contributions to candidates. <laughs> they were like, we need people to help us fundraise so we can keep getting more money to hire more people to tell us how to fundraise. <laughs> and, and so this fucking thing, it's hilarious, right? Um, and it's like, however, a quarter million dollars of what the group raised over the past election cycle, Mitchell pointed out, went to Blue Deal LLC, which is owned by Occupy Democrats founder Omar Rivero and his brother Rafael. While Blue Deal had reportedly done nearly 600000 in contracts for California Congressman Ro Khanna's campaign, Occupy, and by the way, Ro is a spineless little loser cunt who once stood strong against Ukrainian Nazis and is now just, like, <laughs> wilting like a flower. <laughs> so, I mean, even when they do work with somebody, it's a hack job. It's a worthless loser. Um, Occupy Democrats was the firm's second largest client, raising eyebrows about whether the media brand known for eye-rolling memes and all-caps attacks on Republicans represented anything more than a means for the brothers to pad their bottom lines. You don't say. This is from Newsweek, by the way. Not some, like, super seedy rag. Um, and then, misinformation. PolitiFact. Occupy Democrats get so many things wrong that PolitiFact has to fact check them and that 0% of them are completely true according to PolitiFact. <laughs> PolitiFact is a fucking astroturfy piece of Democrat garbage on a normal basis. And I'm not even saying that as somebody who loves Republicans. Fuck them too. But like, seriously... If Democrats are saying your Occupy Democrats page is wrong, whoo! That's the Pointer Institute, too, by the way. The Pointer Institute that I went over in my uh, Facebook is not a private company article, uh, where I went over the fact that that social media company is heavily compromised, too. I'm not having Twitters back here by any stretch, and I'm not having any others. I think they all suck. But when PolitiFact fucking scores you this way, that's your moment to check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself, can ya? So, alright, we move on to Banned from Wikipedia. <laughs> Where... <laughs> uh, man. Where they were banned from Wikipedia. Um... And they were also um, shady, personal profiting from deceitful fundraising. They were shady with their own shit, which is shown on Open Secrets. He has, I just, 
Look at that. And then, so, all right. All of this is bad enough. It's bad enough that the reason they claim they're doing this is because of Elon Musk and not so that they can get their platform off the ground. And they do that so that they can claim that they're here for democracy. But a few people aren't fucking having it. And uh, there are Trump supporters already being censored on the platform. And what does that look like? Oh, well, that looks like this. To all the Trump supporters who are accusing us of censoring them on our new social network, we don't censor any posts. Our algorithm simply filters out fake news, bigotry, and hostility. If you want to trend on our network, your posts must be factual and free of bigotry. Welcome to all new users. The best way to experience Tribal is by downloading our brand new app. So, they've been grifting on this for weeks. A while. You know? And, and not just that, but if you look into it, Travis is being smeared on Tribal and elsewhere. So their pro-democracy app is saying, behind closed doors, to blackball certain people. Sounds like democracy to me, you know? And over here we've got uh, angry black lady saying Tribal Social is a data harvesting app run by Omar Rivero, who is also the founder of Occupy Democrats. The TOS allows Tribal to use your content any way it sees fit, including editing it, unless the TOS changed in the last couple days. Be careful. And then Tribal was quick with that, saying, Hello, we think you may have misunderstood our policies. We don't have any interest in editing any content, nor have we ever done it. Nor will we ever do it. Please give us a try before you spread these conspiracies about us. Oh. And then somebody was just like, is this you? And then, like, if they did remove this, it was there. You know? And so this woman was totally right in spreading the news. Being like this about it. You know? And for anyone who doubts, Omar Rivero is the founder of Occupy Democrats. And over here, would you look at that? Occupy Democrats, breaking new pro-democracy Twitter alternative, Tribal Social, announces it has preemptively blocked Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr., and Kanye West from its social network. Citing their spreading of dangerous conspiracies and fake news, RT if you support Tribal's decision. Nepotism. Using a platform which is not uh, 100% transparent about its link to this to promote this could be seen as an FCC violation there, fucking Occupy Democrats. It would be a damn shame. It would be a damn shame if you had some action against you. While you're censoring other people, if they just... <laughs> Censored you, maybe? <laughs> and then, like, oh, man. It's so transparent, yo. He's just over here being like that. And I'm like, tribal. Twitter, but with more censorship. Gab, getter, parlor, truth social. Tribal, but red. The problem is centralization. Shit's still a problem on those places, but it's also siloed and knee-jerk irrational. Acting like the reason Twitter sucks is because of Republicans or Democrats is cave skull thinking. Got nothing in there. It's cave skull thinking. Got nothing in there. So, while you're keeping in that in mind, here comes Travis with more information. This is the final warning I'll post regarding tribal social can make your own decision, but I've worked in information warfare, operations security, and national security for a long time. Tribal Social is not a social media platform you want to access or provide content to. Do you want to be tracked? No. 
if you signed up for a tribal social account, not only are they tracking and storing your web history and communications, but they track you when you're not logged into their app as well. Don't believe me? It's right here. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> he says, Did you remember volunteering to have your personal information, browsing, data, contacts, and communications potentially provided to Russian intelligence and information influence operations elements? Well, if you signed up for a tribal social account, you did. Because basically they can give it to whoever they want as long as it's part of a thing. Investigation or whatever. The best advice I can offer from a security point of view is to delete your account, then delete the app. If you delete the app before you delete your account, Tribal Social can harvest and exploit your devices, providing access to foreign countries and third parties. Then, change your passwords. The owners of Tribal Social, and get this... This is where it licks up a bit. This is where it licks up a bit, right? The owners of Tribal Social are the same two brothers who attempted to launch another social media site called Liker. Their site was easily infiltrated and a major data breach occurred, giving hackers access to password security questions, answers, and private messages. Ooh, I wonder where I've heard of this before. Hmm, maybe just like Parler. Maybe like tribal is just like Parler, but for Democrats. And they both suck. Maybe it's not better just because it's blue. There's going to be a gold rush, though, because now Democrats are going to do the same thing now that it's been deemed okay. They're going to start cranking out their pro-democracy things. And they're going to come out with all these fucking pro-democracy things that start censoring anyone who's not a Democrat or, in, in the vast majority of cases, doesn't agree with Occupy Democrats. That's all they'll really need to do. Because Omar sucks. And Occupy Democrats sucks. Y'all have sucked. For a really fucking long time. And now you corrupt sons of bitches. Are trying to start an influence machine. In the form of an alternative social media site. Which is actively worse than Twitter. Because it doesn't allow people to democratically express their views. It allows them to be algorithmically fucked away. Let me tell you something. As somebody who's twi who, who, who Twitter's algorithm decided was unfit for duty for a year and a half, and then they they came back with, "Oh, we're so sorry. Don't don't leave us, baby. We're so sorry we banned you for a year and a half. But what? You know, gosh darn it, our algorithm done shucks you into oblivion. Shucks. As somebody who had that happen to me." And had them admit that all the reports they sent around to everybody saying that all their reports were true and that I'm an abusive, harassing, lying, manipulative, terrible, spammy, scammy person. All those lies they told about me in order to help spread around the fact that, hey, we did it. Ding dong, the evil wizard is dead. We banned him from Twitter. And that was the only and ultimate goal. All those things were lies. And they were all lies that were immediately sent out by an algorithm because I was algorithmically suppressed for a year and a half. So pardon me if I don't fucking believe that your algorithm isn't censoring people. That your algorithm is an excuse for the censorship to happen because it's still censorship, even if it's an algorithm. So, with that in mind, I just thought I'd say that. Put on a nice 25-minute video about why this platform sucks just as much as the rest of them. If you're new here, uh, like, share, subscribe. F fucking delete your tribal account. Holy shit, anything that's telling you to be more tribalized now, anything that's trying to increase the tribalization, that's evil automatically. 
that is a component of the balkanization that will cause civil wars if not world wars if not the destruction of humanity and, and to act like it's just some cute normal thing to be tribal no a cultural fucking appropriation which is as a point point personal privilege jeremiah uh sis het um from Washington, um, I would really prefer it if the people who would say that I am culturally appropriating if I do X, Y, and Z don't then use tribes as a way to sell their social media platform when they are not tribal people. It kind of makes me fucking angry with you. I mean, I don't normally care about this stuff, but if you're telling me that I'm the problem if I don't, and then you do it anyway, go fuck yourself. And maybe stop balkanizing people, you fucking trash fires. And that includes Gab, that includes Getter, that includes Parler, that includes Truth Social, that includes all of these centralized apps that just silo people without giving them any real additional benefit, and in Parler's case, help an ex-secret service guy build a fucking massive list and get a bunch of people arrested by the FB fucking I. Maybe it's bad that these things are happening. Maybe we shouldn't encourage them. Wild conclusion. Because maybe we need all hands on deck to fight this evil machine. And maybe all of this partisanship is driving a wedge between people who would otherwise maybe stage a workers' revolution or one or more sorts of at least syndicalist actions or any sort of actual genuine leftism. But no, instead we've got to get Crime Bill Patriot Act Biden and Kotmala Harris over here in the White House telling us that we need to do absolutely anything but smash the fucking state.